Hello. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can use the jQuery theme roller styles and apply it to your applications. And the InfoJistix jQuery controls are going to light up with the theme roller styles that you bring in to your applications. So what I have in front of me is a uh, an HTML page with a jQuery grid showing some data. Let's run that and uh, see what we have. So right now it's using the standard IG theme, which is also based on theme roller. And um, you have features like paging, sorting, and you can see all the CSS being applied accordingly. Well, let's say for example, you have a scenario where you're using other controls that are jQuery based on jQuery UI and are theme roller compatible. And, um, and you wanna make sure the application looks um, looks the same across the board and you don't have to maintain styles per control. So theme roller is a jQuery UI standard for styling and our controls comply with that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to jQuery.com and I'm going to bring in a theme roller style. So I can come here to GUI which is the jQuery UI page. And I can look at the powerful theme framework and explore the theme gallery. Once I'm here, I can look at all the different themes in the gallery. And let's say I like this eggplant really good. So let me download that. And it will take you to the download page where you can actually customize based on, on your settings and the usage of controls that you have in your application. Uh, we'll get everything. So we'll just click the download button on the right hand side. And we'll take that and save it to our desktop. Let's save as. And on onto our desktop. All right, once we have that on our desktop, I can unzip this file. Okay, once unzipped, I can go to the CSS folder, and here's my theme eggplant. I'm going to copy that and put it in my in my application solution folder. Let me collapse that, go back to my folder, and put it into my project. So once I have that, um, all I need is to replace, not use the actual IG theme and use this theme. So I'm going to take that, drag and drop. I have the link created and I'm going to remove the IG theme from here. And I'm going to run it in the run it again. So here you have it. Um, just by replacing the actual standard IG theme with a theme roller theme, it's very simple. You just take that, drop in your folder, and everything will just light up depending on the theme setting. So now you have any sword and other things, it will use the style settings in that theme, it would apply to different areas of the of the of the control. And this is not true for just the for the grid, but uh, it will be compatible with all the other infrastructure controls in net net advantage for jQuery. Thanks for watching this video. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.